Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at the proof for similar triangles. The theorem states if two triangles are equal angular, which means that A is equal to P, B is equal to Q, and C is equal to R, then the corresponding sides are in proportion. So we want to prove that AB over PQ is equal to AC over PR. So let's start with our construction. So we're going to mark off on PQ, we're going to mark off G, and on PR we're going to mark off H such that PG is equal to AB and PR is equal to, sorry, PH is equal to AC. So let us join GH and we're going to call this G1 this angle. So moving on to our proof, you will notice I've cut out a smaller triangle and what I want to do is prove that this triangle that I cut out, PGH, is congruent to triangle ABC. And I think you can see that, that angle A is equal to angle P that was given and we also have AB equal to PG and AC equal to PH, that is from the construction. Looking at the proof, number one, AB is equal to PG, construction. Number two, AC is equal to PH, construction. And number three, A is equal to P, and that was given as the triangles were equiangular. So we proved these two triangles congruent, and our case is side, angle, side. Now, if these two triangles are congruent, we can now conclude that angle B is equal to angle G1. And the reason for B being equal to G1 is congruent triangles. But we know that B is equal to Q because the triangles were equiangular. So that part was given. So we can now conclude that G1 is equal to angle Q. But if G1 is equal to angle Q, these are corresponding angles that are equal. Therefore, we can conclude that GH is parallel to QR. So you'll notice in the first part, I proved the two triangles congruent. In the second part, I went on to prove that GH is parallel to QR. Now, what does this imply if these two lines are parallel? It means that PG over PQ is equal to PH over PR. You can see that PG over PQ is equal to PH over PR. And I'm using the proportional intercept theorem. And GH is parallel to QR. And remember where I want to go. I want to prove that AB over PQ is equal to AC over PR. So we're very close. Remember in our construction, we marked off AB is equal to PG. So I can replace my PG with AB, and I can replace my PH with AC. So now I have AB over PQ is equal to AC over PR. And we've proved that if two triangles are equiangular, then the corresponding sides are in proportion. Now you'll notice, uh, for me to prove the last part, I will have to mark off the triangles G and I have to move H on the side. But in most cases, we would, in the exam papers, this is how the theorem comes out to prove. And we know the reference, if we're using this theorem, is similar triangles. Thank you.